everybody, uh, this is Fisher Coder here. Um, today we'll go through this question, um, leave code question problem 1200, uh, minimum absolute difference. Um, first, let's go through the description of this problem. Um, it's giving us an array of distinct integers array. It's asking us to find all pairs of the elements that has the minimum absolute difference between any of the two elements in the given array. Well, let's walk through a couple or a few examples. For example, given this array, 4, 2, 1, 3, the absolute difference, just based on plain sight, we can see is 1, for example, between 1 and 2, between 2 and 3, and between 3 and 4. The output, the expected correct output, is actually this. And so it's in ascending order. 1 is smaller than 2, 2 is smaller than 3, 3 is smaller than 4. And it's all in ascending order, it's coming out as pairs, which makes sense. A very easy and straightforward example. A second example is given this array, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, the output is um, 1, 3. This is one single pair with the absolute minimum difference as 2. All of the other pairs' difference are greater than 2. For example, the pair formed by 3 and 6, the difference is 3, so it's greater than 2, so we exclude that in the output. One final example is this, a little bit more complex with both positive and negative integers, which doesn't matter at all. Um, we can see it, it has three pairs in the output list. So what's the absolute minimum difference? It is 4, right? So um, between the negative 14 and negative 10, the absolute minimum difference is 4. And between 19 and 24, the absolute minimum difference is still 4. So is this one. Um, there are two constraints. Um, a very simple and straightforward question. Uh, let's, uh, this is the um, Java API signature for this problem given. Um, how do we approach this question? Um, a very straightforward algorithm is to basically, number one, first, um, sort the array. Why do we need to sort it? So the reason we need to sort it, um, the array could be given sorted or unsorted. But anyway, we need to sort it. After we sort it, we can always guarantee that the second number that we are iterating through will be uh, bigger than the first one so that we can safely do subtraction and will make our life um, and computation a lot easier. Second, what we can just uh, go through um, each pair of the elements in this given array, in this given array after sorting it. Then we'll just maintain a current minimum absolute difference. If, if we encounter an even smaller uh, difference, we'll just update the counter and update the result list. After we iterate through this um, sorted loop, uh, this sorted array, we'll just return whatever we have, we maintain in the current list. Well, very straightforward. Let's um, go ahead and uh, give it a shot. Say, um, you can just use first, let's sort it. Uh, you can use whatever the sorting algorithm that you prefer. We can just uh, use the language of your choice. For example, in Java, we can just use this, uh, this Java API to sort this given array. Uh, then we'll do, what we'll do is int uh, current main diff. We'll keep a variable here to mark it as the current minimum diff, we can actually use this, uh, use the second one to detect uh, the first one. Why can we do that? Do we need to worry about index out of bound exception? We don't. Why? Because here there are two constraints, right? So there are at least, uh, this means there are at least two elements in this given array. So we can safely use this one. That's the current minimum difference. And then also we will just uh, maintain the result variable here. Result, call it a new array list. And this result, we're going to add the first one. Remember, it's, uh, it's being sorted already in the very first line of this method. So we know it's going to be in ascending order. So we can just simply use the index. 
and then we'll start we'll start loop uh, iterating through this sorted array. Int i equals two. We can start from two. Why? Let's see. Why do we start from two? Because one uh, zero and one it's already being used here, and we'll go through pairs. So we'll start from the index two. And the current diff will calculate a new diff here. This diff is i minus i minus one. So it, then we have the second diff. Then we'll do the comparison. If this current min diff is equal to diff, that means this is the same minimum absolute difference. That means we'll just add this new pair into this result, which is i minus 1 and i in ascending order. Else, if this current minimum diff is actually bigger than this diff, that means the current pair that we are iterating through, remember this diff comes from here. That means this current new pair that we are iterating on right now is actually smaller than the previous, previously maintained current minimum diff. That means we're updating it. Just to assign this new diff as the new, new current minimum diff. And then also we're going to update this, this result, which is going to be, let's just create a new list and add this result i result i minus 1 actually and then i in ascending order then we don't need to worry about if current minimum diff is greater than we we'll just ignore that that means because we are looking we're targeting for the absolute minimum difference in the end we'll just return result um, looks good to me okay then let's give it a try to see if it's going to be accepted pending Hmm, okay, we got an error. Incompatible int cannot be converted to list. Oh, that's right. In Java, it's strong typing. Arrays as list. Let's do this. Hopefully the compiler will be happier. As list, same as here. Let me add this, same here. Add it. Let's give it another shot. Pending. Judging. Speed up. Woohoo. Okay, accept it. Runtime 20 milliseconds faster than 95. Memory use, usage is less than 100. Okay, then let's talk about time and space complexity, respectively. So, first, time complexity. For this algorithm, if we go this way, time is going to be O n log n. Why? Because anyway we need to, the biggest time, um, the worst case of where the most time is spent is by sorting this array. That's the biggest, that's the upper bound. So the time complexity of this algorithm is O n log n. Um, why? Because um, sorting, um, at least um, the at least in Java, like for example, the default quick or merge sort is going to cost O n log n. And the rest of this program is actually, it's not uh, meeting to the upper bound, it's O n. We have only one for loop, right? We're just uh, iterating through this, which means it's O n. So O n and O n log n, we use the upper bound to denote the time complexity, which is O n log n. Now how about space? Have we used any extra space, memory? No, we didn't. We just used two variables. One is result, the other is current minimum diff. That means that space complexity is only one. Well, that's the um, problem um, 1200, minimum absolute difference. I hope this tutorial totally makes sense to you. If you don't, um, if it doesn't make sense, uh, please leave me a comment in the description below. Um, and also for any problems that you want uh, me to go over, go through, please leave me a comment below. Any questions or comments would be really appreciated. Thank you.